Hello everyone, welcome to the Ichimoku Charts.com daily analysis for gold for Monday, November 12, 2012. Well, the change of trend today and the candle has made a lower high and a lower low. Uh, the candle that we're analysing is the second last candle on the chart. The final candle here that we see uh, trending down already is the uh, current candle as it's developing and has a long way to go before trading is finished in this candle so we can't analyze that yet but for this uh, current candle uh, we have a change of trend with the market making a lower high and a lower low and uh, that's been on a spinning top type candle so it wasn't likely that uh, we were going to see strong bearishness we are seeing that at the moment whether that continues that's debatable previous days trading we had the market break outside of the top of this highlighted area of uh, support and resistance this yellow area but the market tested exactly to the uh, Kijin Sen and just above and found resistance up around there with the an indecisive candle a doji type candle uh, for today's trading another spinning top type candle a candle of indecision as the market was testing just above the Kijun Sen and uh, now today we are seeing price action be rejected from the Kijun Sen and we we know that the Ichimoku indicators can act as areas of uh, support and resistance and in this case the Kitchen Center is acting as resistance. So uh, quite some indecisive trading. Uh, there is a possibility of the trend continuing down obviously but uh, the market could find support anywhere within this zone that uh, I've highlighted in yellow and this zone is now also bound by the Ichimoku indicators, the Kitchen Center at the top and the Tenkan Sen at the bottom. Now in terms of the uh, Fibonacci extension, uh, we're looking back here at the uh, relationship of the previous time the market was trending up to the uh, uh, uptrend prior to that and here we see that we saw the market test exactly to the 261.8% level, we saw the indecisive candle come in and today we've seen that change of trend around the 261.8% and this highlights how effective uh, the Fibonacci uh, extensions and the retracements can be. Just looking at the current uh, Fibonacci extension and now we're examining the relationship of the current first time frame downtrend to the previous time the market was trending down and today we've already seen the market uh, trade down uh, through the 23.6% level testing towards the 38.2%. So for tomorrow that is a level that we should be watching. If we do see buying come in there is potential for a change of trend. The next level down below there is a 50% an important level and that's around the 1711 area. Now let's examine the Fibonacci retracement and we're looking at the relationship of the current first time frame downtrend to this previous time the market was trending up, down, up, sorry. And uh, once again traded through the 23.6%, 38.2% around 17.14 is important as is the 50% uh, down around 17.06. But at the moment the way this market's trading it seems as though we will test down to around the 17.14 level at the 38.2% level. In terms of uh, Ichimoku, obviously we have a neutral market in big picture terms, the market's trading within the cloud, but um, we uh, at the moment have a market that's bearish in the medium term time frame by trading below the Kujun Sen. Uh, for today's trading, uh, if we look at the spinning top type candle, the market closed right at the Kijun Sen, giving us a neutral market in uh, the medium term time frame. Uh, but the market continues trading up above the Tenkan Sen, the green line here, and uh, it does suggest that we have a bullish market in the fast term time frame. That uh, Tenkan Sen is uh, pointing flat and it's reflecting the lack of upside momentum uh, that we're now seeing in this market. And it does suggest that there is potential for this market to trade lower and that's exactly what we're seeing today. There is potential uh, on a minor level for the market to find support just around this level where we're trading. If we look at these candles here, we can see very solid price rejection from around this 1720 level and uh, it does suggest that that will be an important level for this market uh, today as it's developing we're trading just near there so keep an eye on that level if we do trade in a bearish manner down below there then there is a possibility of the market trading all the way down to the tank and center around 1706 and finding support down there but uh, not really a market that uh, is really showing any clear direction in any time frame um, there is a possibility in a very short term time frame in the market tracing back down towards the 1700 level but uh, um, basically uh, in bigger picture terms uh, lack of direction